so today students will do the experiment for prism and as you know our aim is to determine angle of minimum deviation of a prism by plotting graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation so what you will be doing children first you will draw a line horizontally and then we will place the prism okay and now we have to draw the boundary of the prism so i have just uh, i will just uh, mark the three points one two and three after drawing these marking these points i will just join them right so this is my boundary of the prism okay now uh, i will draw a normal say in the center children of this line in the center of the sh sh line you can say that i marked a point and then you draw a normal all right keeping a protector you will mark a normal and then uh, normal and then i will join these two points right so this will be my normal and now i have to draw angle of incidence so i am taking see children carefully how i am keeping my protector like this my zero should coincide with this normal line and now i will take the angle of incidence to be 35 so it's 0 10 20 30 and 35 all right so this is my 35 this is my angle of incidence and then let's join these two points that let this point with this point of incidence so i'll extend this ray right so this angle angle of incidence is the angle between the angle of incident ray and the normal so this angle is my 35 degrees now what we have to do we have to fix two pins on this uh, incident ray and children please mind see that the distance between the pins should be maximum that is a main precaution the distance between should be uh, 5 to 6 cm okay so we'll just place the two pins right and now what will i do i will replace my prism back okay and now i will see through this face through this face i will see that you will see the two images can you focus vivek just focus on the two pins can you see those two pins children we are showing you the two pins okay so two pins through this face okay they are being uh, uh, focus now i will come i will see through this face through this face i will see and i will fix two pins let me fix and then i'll show you how the four pins will look you have to fix you have to close your one eye and then you have to fix two pins such that all four pins should be in a line and while we are focusing now let me see if vivek can show you all the lines all the four pins in a line vivek try to focus from through this exactly go behind those pins and can you make it focus all four pins in a line done okay so now what you will do now i will remove this prism okay and i will remove the pin each one by one and i will encircle the point right so you remove and then just encircle very small point now what will i do i will join these two points and they will uh, they will just strike this space okay right so this is my emergent ray and now i have to find the angle of incidence the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray so i will extend this incident ray right and i will extend this already the uh, emergent ray is there so this is my incident ray and this is my emergent ray right so i will now i have to measure this angle so this is my angle of deviation that is delta 
and now how will you keep your protector you will keep your protector such that your this line zero reference line should coincide with this point okay like this if you will do and then my angle of prism as you can see that uh, i have to just extend this ray extend this ray so you can find with the right extend this ray and now we will find this angle so my this angle is coming out to be 10 20 30 40 40 and 51 just a minute so angle of deviation is coming out to be 51 Okay, so like this, you will change the angle of incidence and you will plot the graph between. You have to now, like this children, now you have taken 35 degree angle uh, of incidence. So like this, you have to take 6 observations in the interval of 5 degrees, right? So 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60, you will be taking... Uh, 7 to 8 observations and then you your observation table as you can see your uh, value of angle of prism is 60 degree and the least count of protector as you know it is 1 degree and then you write your 6 observations and after those 6 observations you will plot a graph right so i am having the i have already plotted the graph children so please take the scales i have mentioned in the graph on the x-axis you take your 1 cm of x-axis is 5 degrees and on the y-axis you take your uh, uh, 2 cm as, uh, as your 5 degrees. Now if you plot the graph, I have plotted the graph for all the 6, 7 points. Now see children, after drawing the, after marking the points, you have to draw the parabola. The comes out of a parabola and please children note that it will not be a symmetric parabola. It is a symmetric parabola and from here you have to find the angle of minimum deviation so that is the angle of minimum deviation as you can see from my graph it is 35 degree and the angle of incidence is 45 degree so that is at the angle of 45 degrees you will get the minimum deviation so this is our aim to determine the angle of minimum deviation by plotting the graph so be careful children so while you're taking the scale i am very particular take this scale and your graph should be a symmetric parabola and your angle of deviation is the angle between the incident ray and the extended incident ray and the emergent ray this is my angle of deviation all right one more children i want to show you is that what is the angle of prism the angle of prism is the angle between two refracting surfaces so as you can see children this is one refracting surface this is another refracting surface so this angle this angle is my angle of minimum uh, sorry angle of prism as you can see that's an equilateral triangle so my angle of prism a is equal to 60 degrees but in this diagram children see now your diagram is like this this is my incident ray this is my emergent ray and you can join your refracted ray is like this so if you we'll join these two points so this will be my refracted ray right so this is my angle of incidence so this is my refracted ray and this is my emergent ray so one refracting surface that is a b and c so a b is my one refracting surface and b c is my another refracting surface so this angle is my angle of prism so you can't say that all are my angle of prism there is only one angle of prism that is angle of prism between these two refracting surface this is one refracting surface this is second refracting surface so this is all about the experiment